Hi everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Awesome Science with Garland. Garland. And we have a special guest. And it's Alina Hope. Her mm -hmm. name is Alina Hope. She's my sister. And we play together a lot. And sometimes we fight each other. And uh, we spend, we also do some special time with her and we and we love just doing things with her and this is our second episode in Arizona. That's right. So, We're very excited to have Alina here with us today. She is, how old are you Alina? She is three and she has shown an interest in science and we think that she is now of age to join us in our experiments. So today, our second episode, as Scarlett said, of our Making the Invisible Visible series, we're going to be working with gas, which is invisible, but we're able to demonstrate it and create movement with gas. So first, we're going to do something called Alka-Seltzer rockets. And we will be, we will be, it might, we don't know what it's going to do in it's, it is going to shoot up, but we don't know if it's going to go crazy or if it's just going to shoot up and hit the wall. We're just going to, we're going to see, because that's what science is all about. We're just going to see. And before we get started, as always, we want to speak about safety. So before you attempt any of these experiments, make sure that you're under the supervision of an adult, your mommy or daddy. And, and or just to remind you, you always have to have a parent with you. Mother, always, yes. They're tight, yeah. Okay, we'll put them on in a minute, okay? You want to have gloves to protect your fingers and hands, and your eye protection. We'll definitely put these back on, and, and I'll put mine and, on, too. Uh, she has, she has uh, some uh, goggles we use in the pool, because we don't have any more of these, so, so uh, and we, we don't want to get a new one, because then we'll run out of time to do this video, so, and... We're so excited. We think we think you're gonna love this video. This is our first episode when we have something shooting up. That's right. We have had our kaboom series, but that was more of a, a lateral uh -huh. explosion. It kind of it kind of just booms onto the floor, not like goes up. Up and but, so. But uh, it goes to the floor because it's like a a volcano rushing down. You're right, to the floor. but no, we got to get through our safety briefing so we can get started with the fun. So we've got our lab coat, gloves, you've got long pants and closed toed shoes. So before we get started, let's put our eye protection on. Oh, my mom. Okay. <laughs> I know. She needs help putting those on, so let's let's get started on, on okay. saying We're our going clothes. to do our Alpha Seltzer rocket. So what what you need for this are film canisters. I got these from Amazon for about a uh, pack of 12 for about five bucks. You just want something that has a very uh, tight lid to it. And you need water and Alka-Seltzer, and that is it. I got this uh, generic brand for the cheap. You need oil. Not yet, that's for the next experiment. So today we're doing the Alka-Seltzer rockets and we're also doing an oil and water lava. Um, which yeah, does, which takes Alka-Seltzer as well. So, okay, so for this experiment, you're going to take your film canister and a little bit, you're going to fill it about a third of the way with water. We're going to take our Alka-Seltzer tablet and we're going to crush it into little pieces. Nope, then you got to get your head off the... So. No, it's not sleepy time, Nina. Not sleepy time. It's science time. It's science time. Not sleepy time. Okay. But they both start with S, so I'd say it's sleepy time. But it. That is true. Uh, okay, science then, ready? Is sleepy time is. Okay, I honestly don't know as to what direction this is gonna blow. So let's. We're gonna put our alpha seltzer in. What it's going to do? It's going to create carbon dioxide gas. And it's going to create a very, it's going to create a lot of pressure in the chamber here, which we're hoping will be enough to ignite a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. I thought, honestly, it's the liquid is seeping out. It, I didn't it expect went, it to blow. Instead of going up, I was about crazy. I was, it went really crazy. It just popped up and then and then it ran back. I was reaching for it because it looked like all the liquid was seeping out the bottom, and um, I thought it was dud. So yep. that was my mistake. All right, let's try this again. This is really fun. I am gonna close my eyes for okay, ready? Uh, this. Lena's one. not a big fan of fireworks, so but it's not fireworks. Yeah, it's not fireworks. It's just rocket. Oh. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I'm glad the first one went well. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah. Let's try the whole tab of Alba Seltzer. Yep. Cause it, I think you sprinkled it a little bit too tiny, or maybe, or maybe. It, I think it, I did too much. Honestly, I think I did too much liquid, and we want more gas. Do it fast. Ready? We got to do it fast. Yeah. The goal is to. Um... Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so one thing we do know is that oil and water do not mix due to their differences in polarity and density. So how we're going to visualize this separation, so to speak, we're going to mix water with and, the oil. And we were just at church. We have arrived. So this is this is a very fantastic. Uh, it's really it's a really cool uh, experiment. So so you guys could watch it anytime okay, you, do you like. Okay, you want Oh, you don't have gloves on. You can. Do you want to put in the food coloring? Yeah, I will. Just a few I drops. To, I, want, I want to put in some coloring. Okay, why don't you do the red? Mm. Here, but you don't have gloves on. Okay, so we're assuming the risk. We're assuming all risk that she's going to be covered in food coloring. Good job. That's perfect. There yeah. we go. See? Yeah, so it's wait. It's gonna, going down. Right. Well, it's going to be even more. See how the oil separates from the water? It doesn't mix. So when you hear someone say... They, they mix like oil and water. That means they don't mix at all. So uh, now we're going, hey, we added, we have our food coloring, our oil, our water, and now we're gonna add a alphid seltzer tablet, which creates bubbles of carbon dioxide. And it makes the effect visible. I honestly don't know what this is going to look like. Oh my gosh. You know what I think we did is that oh we added gosh. too much color. You can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You know what I think we added too much color, guys? It's definitely doing some stuff, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to start over. Because we, we added we'll too much color, so, so it made black. So yeah, that was not good. It was, okay. it was, so. Well. You can put in the alpha seltzer, okay? Mm. All right, take two. So we, I rinsed out the bottle. I just added a little bit of water to the bottle. Hold on. We're going to pour some oil in there. So that creates those droplets, which will simulate lava. Okay, just one drop. Okay, we don't want to... Okay, one drop. Oh, enough. Okay, where's yours? You're putting in the alpha seltzer, remember? What did you call it? What is this? Oil. No, we put in the oil. What is this, though? I don't know. Alka-seltzer. Can you say alka-seltzer? Alka-seltzer. Perfect. Here, let's, uh, here we go. Do this. So what it's supposed to do is create... You're supposed to be able to visualize the bubbles. Oh, there we go. Let's see what it does. It's red! I don't know. So if you get a close-up, you can see... You can see the oil. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm... I think... The, that... This wasn't Mommy, awesome. I want this is not awesome. So... So now what we have to go do now is we have to find out what we're doing wrong here. Because it says, fill the bottle with water and oil. Add a few drops of food coloring and drop in the Alka-Seltzer tablet. Okay, I guess you can see, I mean, it's. I think it's supposed to have created little, like, red bubbles maybe? So, but that's okay. Oh, oh wait. Oh, can you get a close-up there? I think, I mean, you can see the little, um... There's a lot of, oh, no, you go with the beer scene. You might be, oh, like you can see Okay, so the oil in there. Today we're all be using one of our senses, and that is, that is, uh, seeing. We are seeing, yes, and we heard, we, we heard the pop, um, so, and that's it. So what did, what did you two learn today? We we learned that we could do this whenever we want because we have all the ingredients. That is right. But what did we learn today about carbon dioxide and pressure? No, I think we're all done. You put in the alpha seltzer. I think we're all done with the food coloring. Okay. Alrighty, everyone. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Awesome Science with Scarlett. This was a special bonus.
because we were really excited. And I do, I we were really see. excited to do Nobody, nobody had any idea of what we should do. Yeah. And no, she is perfectly emulating what it can be like to have a failed experience. She likes to put the more food coloring, but that will be a disaster. Those who know genetics, um, there is a test called PCR, which is polymerase chain reaction, and we call it pipette cry repeat. So this is appropriate. And she is Thank you all for joining us on Sunday. We wish you a blessed week, and we're looking forward to seeing you next week. Anything else you want to say to the, to the viewers? Thanks for watching.